What hospital can be arrested openly and honestly? The answer is mental hospital, because everyone will think that they are arresting them mentally ill. Even if they saw them, they wouldn't call the police. Anya was just taken away for no reason. She thought they had arrested the wrong person. But it was her who was arrested? Is Anya you? She tried desperately to explain, but she couldn't speak with the gag in her mouth. Before she knew it, she was dragged into the bathroom by the medical staff. She was brutally cleaned up. Then she was brought to see the director of the facility. The director told her that this was a mental hospital. When she heard this, Anya panicked. The fear was overwhelming. Anya desperately begged the director to let her go, but the director told her to cooperate with the treatment, to be discharged as soon as possible. Then the director gave her a look, and she was greeted with another nightmarish beating. When she woke up again, she was locked in a dark room. A new nurse came to give her medicine. She was helped to remove her gums and handcuffs. This also gave her a glimmer of hope. She asked the male caregiver to help her escape, that she was not mentally ill. But the male caregiver didn't think so, because no mentally ill person would say they were sick. She grabbed the pen from the male caregiver and wrote a series of numbers on the paper. She asked the caregiver to help her contact the owner of the phone, but the nurse immediately snatched the pen back and warned her, in the hospital cannot use such sharp things. And at that moment another old nurse came. When she saw Anya hadn't taken her medication, she gave it to her roughly. There were many other normal people like her who were caught in the hospital. After a period of force feeding, they would become insane. The director will review them every day. Being put back in the dark room wasn't easy for Anya either. Every night, a hand would come in and touch her. This kind of life is worse than death for her. For some people, it's hell. But for some people, it was heaven. The director often used the name of medical examination to harm women. Anya found that as soon as a patient was wheeled into the operating room, he never came out again. It was obvious that the director was making a secret deal. Anya was in a panic. Soon it would be her turn. She ran away again and again, and was caught and beaten again and again. But there was a turn of events. A crazy woman told Anya, there is a secret passage to the outside somewhere in the hospital. Only the creepy guy next door to Anya knew the exact location. She tapped on the wall in the middle of the night. The man on the other side appeared in response. He smiled at Anya with a big yellow tooth. Anya inquired about the location of the secret passage despite her nausea. Who knows the creepy guy is not stupid. He offered to meet her in the bathroom the next day. As long as Anya is obedient, he would tell her the location of the secret passage in order to get out. The next day Anya came to the bathroom as promised. A lecherous man slowly approached her. Anya could only try to cooperate. When she got a taste of it, he told her, the secret passage is in the dean's office, but the password was only for digits. He made an even more outrageous request. Anya took the opportunity to bite the man. The man's screams drew the crowd. Anya took the opportunity to go to the dean's office and entered the code several times, but it was not correct. The alarm of the door lock was also triggered. Good thing at this time, everyone's attention was on the lecherous man. At the critical moment, that crazy woman appeared. She seemed to know what the password was. Anya begged her to tell her the code, but the crazy woman suddenly ran away and stopped at the wall. She was humming and tapping her fingers on the wall. Anya instantly realized that this was the password, and sure enough, the door opened. She searched all over the office. Finally she found the secret briefing in the bookcase, but just then there was the sound of the code being pressed at the door. The city dean was back. Anya had to hide in the secret passage, not daring to make a sound. But the pipes inside were too slippery and Anya was punctured by the steel bars. Her accidental sound was still heard by the dean. Anya was so scared that she fell straight down. When she woke up again, she was in an underground passage. She ran along the passage. Finally she saw the warm sun. She had no idea. This hell on earth was right in the middle of the city. Her messy appearance made passers-be look at her differently. But she hadn't gone far. The ambulance came after her. Anya rushed to escape. But the strong man behind her kept on chasing her. Just when she was about to despair, a police car came in the distance. Now she was saved. Anya got into the police car and relaxed a lot. 
but she never expected. The police took a phone call and sent her back to the mental hospital. At this moment, she was completely desperate, but the next step would make her even more desperate. What she escaped from was to anger the director. Let's get that organ out first. Then do the amputation and skinning. It'll be over soon. Think of the good things. Anya kept screaming for help in a faint voice. Just as the scalpel was going down, the kind nurse was called in to help. She accidentally dropped a box of entrails. She was completely stunned by the scene. Only then did she realize that the director had been in the business of organ trafficking. She was so scared that tears fell from her eyes. After giving her some education, the dean asked her to help bring ice cubes. But in the end, she followed her conscience. She called Anya at the number she had written down. The person who answered the phone was Anya's boyfriend. He was looking for Anya. He followed the address given by the nurse and found the hospital. At the same time, the police chief came to see the director. It turns out that the chief is Anya's stepfather. He was the one who arranged for Anya's arrest. With the help of the nursing staff, the boyfriend got into the hospital. Without any problem, the boyfriend got into the hospital. The three of them were about to escape, but they collided with the director. The director was already very upset with the director because of Anya's escape from the hospital. This time the director was even more angry. He first beat up the nursing staff. Then he dragged her boyfriend onto the operating table and dissected him directly without anesthetic. He wanted Anya to see with her own eyes the person she loved most. Worse than death? As usual, the crazy woman waited for the dean to hurt her. I don't know if it's too much medicine. She even lit candles to create a mood. Just as the dean turned on the chainsaw and was about to cut open her boyfriend's chest, the office suddenly caught fire and the dean had to suspend the operation. He rushed into the office to rescue important documents. Anya takes the opportunity to have the crazy woman untie her. Just as she is about to escape, the director, covered in fire, rushes out and collapses on the floor. The door card fell in front of the nurse. The nurse was kind-hearted. She went back to the fire to save the other patients. Anya helped her boyfriend to escape, but the next moment, her boyfriend was dragged from behind by the director. He was dragged into the fire. Anya was the only one who escaped. She wanted to die with the damn stepfather, but when she found her stepfather, he had already killed himself, and she was arrested as a suspect. She had no choice but to send the diary she wrote in the hospital to a journalist, but for various reasons. It was already a year later when it reached the reporter. The notebook, which was almost burned, aroused the journalist's intense interest. They found the burned mental hospital, according to the location mentioned in the diary. They intended to have the actors restore the scene at that time. Instead, they accidentally found a man with severe facial burns. The tattoo on the man's arm was exactly the same as the one in the diary. When he heard Anya's name, he became very emotional. The journalist believed the diary and suspected that he was the kind-hearted caregiver. When the reporter found Anya and mentioned her stepfather, she almost had a nervous breakdown and repeatedly stated that she did not kill her stepfather. <laughs> But the reporter still felt that something was wrong. He wanted to ask the man at the hospital, but he suddenly disappeared. He thought of Anya's painful look and the dark underground deal. The reporter decided to reinvestigate the matter. He collected evidence of the director's corruption and bribery. In the autopsy of the director, the same drugs as in the mental hospital were found. This all shows that the director and the mental hospital cannot be unconnected. Now that the evidence and physical evidence were all there, the inference that the director committed suicide was confirmed. After the reporter reported the matter on the program, the incident set off a huge wave of melon on the internet. The crowd has expressed support for Anya and also spontaneously pulled up a banner in front of the court. Finally, due to pressure, Anya from seven years in prison to acquitted. Do you think this is the end? The next reversal is the most exciting. The reporter sent Anya home, who had just been released. She was silent all the way home, but when she arrived home, she said something profound to the reporter. In a mental hospital, this kind of ballpoint pen can be a murder weapon. This will never be given to the patients. Then she smiled wickedly and turned around to go into the house. The reporter suddenly thought of a detail. In the hospital cannot use such sharp things. Right. How can I write a diary without a pen? On the other hand, Anya unzipped her zipper to reveal a scar on her body. Then the truth came out. It turns out that Anya wasn't the one who was admitted to the 
mental hospital. But her mother, in order to take over her mother's real estate, her stepfather, the director, sent her to the psychiatric hospital. Her mother was subjected to inhumane torture. Anya received a call from the nursing staff and rushed to the hospital to save her. She was discovered by the director. It was Anya who almost had his organs taken away. That's why she has a huge scar on her body. When she finally escaped, it wasn't her boyfriend who was pulled into the fire, but her mother. Anya found her stepfather with resentment and shot him. Anya's boyfriend is a fictionalized image of her father. All this is Anya's carefully planned revenge. At the end of the movie, Anya inherits her mother's estate. She puts on her mother's dress and pours two cups of coffee. She looks out the window as if she is waiting for someone. At that moment there is a knock at the door. Who is it? Did Anya have help? Or was it a reporter who reacted? The movie doesn't say that it leaves an open ending. But no matter what, the villain was punished. And this is the best ending. Well, that's it for today's story. We'll see you next time.